Alright, so we got some big news coming in according to this news article published on Gizmondo. Sony and Microsoft are developing high-speed 4K cameras for PS5 and Xbox Scarlet. My question is, is Sony bringing back the iToy and is Microsoft really going to resurrect the Kinect? Yeah, in this video we're going to look into this. Reports are also coming in regarding uh, hardware specifications for PS5 and some pretty interesting informations or perhaps theories that now gives a lot of the past leaks uh, a lot more ground but yeah let's talk about the cameras first now before we dive into the details of this particular claim or leak a spokesperson at microsoft has apparently responded to this article that we're going to talk about in just a second now microsoft are denying that any camera technology is in development and no cameras has been delivered to developers in any form and so that probably means that this leak is false but yeah what the leak is suggesting is that both sony and microsoft are doubling down on high-speed 4K cameras meant for streaming specifically to be a part of the next-gen console experience. The leak is coming from the tech site Gizmondo who claims that they have been in contact with a developer who is sitting on the development kits for both PS5 and Xbox Scarlet. Now before we dive deeper into this, I'd like to ask you two questions actually. Do you think that this is true? And do you care about a 4K high-speed camera? Let me know down below. But yeah, let's go back to the story. Now to make it more trustworthy, the developer went ahead and sent a few uh, photos over showing the PS5 and the Scarlet dev kits to simply verify that he does own the dev kits. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that Gizmondo actually received these photos of the dev kits before the PS5 dev kit leak all happened and so that uh, strengthens the truthfulness even further. Now in case you haven't been in the loop, this is what the PS5 dev kit looks like. Yeah I know it looks a bit sketchy but this is indeed a real pictures it's been confirmed by numerous developers and it was actually designed by the same guy who made up the original ps4 and so many people have asked me is this what ps5 is going to look like and the answer is probably no now if you're curious to see what the ps4 and the ps3 dev kit looked like i'll link up a video down below where we looked at this in much greater details now with that said we're gonna come back to the camera a bit later in this video but this developer actually had some even more interesting details to share so according to the developer the codename for the next ps5 console is playstation pro Sparrow, which is a reference to william shakespeare's play the tempest and in this play prospero is a moody magician who gets the help of spirit creature ariel and a friendly nobleman gonzalo the name gonzalo is believed to be aimed this codename for the system circuit in the next generation gaming consoles this was revealed at the beginning of the year when the well-known twitter profile tom Apisag dug out and analyzed a series of numbers and letters which together revealed both the codename Gonzalo and a number of technical features of the circuit. Now in case you're interested in the technical features here, you can find that video down below. Yeah, then in August, the Twitter profile Komashi revealed the codename Ubreon the circuit graphics section. Ubreon is also the name of a fairly king in another William Shakespeare play called A Midsummer Night's Dream. The dev also reflects on the performance of the system as the greatest performance jump ever in a console world. He also went ahead and told us that the solutions for ray tracing are going to differ a bit between PS4 and Xbox 2, but he refused to give us any more details than that and that's pretty much the interview. And I have talked a bit about this very briefly in the video in the past, now, although we know that AMD is developing the hardware, it is not clear whether PS5 and Scarlet is going to be based on the same RDNA architecture. Now, there are a few rumors out there that is suggesting that Scarlet might be the more powerful of the two. Yeah, which could suggest that it will be based on upcoming RDNA 2, which might be the architecture that gets true ray tracing support. According to this patent, AMD is implementing some form of hybrid approach for ray tracing. Before we dive any deeper here, we gotta keep in mind that AMD hardware can already do ray tracing in the form of Radeon Pro Render. Now, this video was done for months before for Nvidia's RTX reveal, but we haven't heard anymore about Pro Render since then. GameSpot did an interview with Colin Panty, a developer at Coalition, the guys who made Gears 5. During this interview, Panty got asked about his thoughts on Scarlet and increased power, and what that would mean on a technical level, where he answered, Now we don't have anything to announce right now in terms of Gears with this new hardware, but I'm definitely super excited what this new hardware could do. Having dedicated ray tracing hardware, 
text huge. This text has however been edited and the original text said having dedicated ray tracing cores but the text has then been changed back to ray tracing hardware and we don't know why Gizmondo decided to edit this out. Now it's worth mentioning that Colin Panty works as the creative director and so he might not have the same architectural knowledge as his game engine colleagues so this whole ray tracing core thing might just be a mistake from his side because because as we know right now AMD doesn't have any ray tracing cores but this might change in the future of course but yeah with that said let's go back to the cameras these cameras should give the system built-in support for streaming games online and, and according to this developer the current camera solution that is sitting in the scarlet development system is significantly more capable than the one that is sitting inside ps5 the xbox solution should be able to stream video in 4k solution with just 2 millisecond latency as a reference the connect camera for the xbox one console has a latency of about 8 to 10 milliseconds now since microsoft has invested heavily in its own streaming video platform mixer in recent years this venture does make some form of sense for the next generation console but on the other hand i am not too sure that microsoft want to create another uh, connect meme again we all remember how that went now obviously it should be said again microsoft has responded to this already and they are denying that any camera technology is in development and that none has been delivered to developers in any form which is very odd because as this developer is claiming the uh, complete opposite anyway future will definitely tell and i am going to keep you guys up to date on this of course i'm also going to do teardowns and we're gonna do lots of fun stuff once these consoles launch on the market in late 2020 now in case you're wondering about ray tracing you want to know the the specific uh, hardware specifications and whatnot you can find more details down below in the meantime watch either of these two videos for more awesome content and thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to be back in a few days time until then have an awesome day right